on what we've done recently. We've since we last collected, we've had uh, three um, families uh, that experienced home fires. One with three people, three couple people we've helped. One had a home fire. One with car repairs and one individual we helped with funeral expenses. So the money goes to members, local people, um, people in the area that have need and we help them out. So please um, give to that. I believe that's going to be a separate um, collection plate at the, at the door and uh, our doors. And then for the regular offering, we have boxes uh, with red around them at the back, and you can give uh, to just your regular offering in those boxes. Um, <clears throat> so um, we're going to have a, a call to worship of uh, Oh Come All You Faithful. This will be Hymn um, number 89. Um, these, these aren't working today, so just use your hymnal. Number 89, we're going to sing all three verses. After the 
same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as Jesus is Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let him make his hands in so, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not, dis not discerning the Lord's body. Now to the
this in some scripture. When Dan sent me a text message and asked me to do this, I did not realize I was delivering a message. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be reading uh, several verses that they, he did let me know that, that he missed a word in here. Uh, this is very scriptures that talk about Jesus' this life. He was born, he lived, which was uh, missed. He died, but then he defeated death. He's alive and king. And these verses, um, coming from the New King James Version, uh, highlight <clears throat> all these aspects. Starting in Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 14. Now there were now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I am bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. <clears throat> For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloth by an angel. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will towards you. Um, moving over to Matthew, uh, chapter 4, verses 23 through 25. We're now talking about uh, Jesus' life and his uh, ministry. <clears throat> and Jesus went all about or went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all kinds of sickness and all kinds of disease among the people. Then his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought to him all sick people who were afflicted with various diseases and torments. And those who were demon-possessed, epileptics, and paralytics, and healed them. Great multitudes followed him from Galilee and from Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and beyond the Jordan. Um, moving on to John, chapter 19, verses 28 through 30. Um, after this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now a vessel full of sour wine was sitting there. And they filled a sponge with sour wine and put it on his tongue and put it to his mouth. So when Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. And now in his head, he gave up his spirit. Uh, moving to Mark, chapter 16, verses 1 through 8. Now, when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James, <clears throat> and Salome, brought spices that they might come and anoint him. Very early in the morning, on the first day of the week, they came to the temple when the sun had risen. And they said among themselves, Who will roll away a stone from the door of the tomb for us? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled away, for it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in a long white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth. Nazareth. He was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going. Before you into Galilee, there you will see him, as he said to you. So they went out quickly and fled from the tomb, for they were trembled and were amazed. <clears throat> and they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Finally, we're going to go to Revelations chapter 1, verse 6. <coughs> 4 through 18. John to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come, from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead and the ruler over the kings of the earth, to him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming with clouds, and every eye will see him, even they who pierced him. And all the tribes of earth will mourn because of him. Even so. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, 
who is, and who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. Uh, verse 9, I, John, both your brother and companion in the tribulation, and kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was on the island that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a loud voice as a trumpet saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, and what you see, write in a book and send it to the seven churches which are in Asia, to Ephesus, to Smyrna, to Pergamos, to, to Tychia, to Sardis, to Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. When I turned to see the voice that spoke with me, and having turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. And in the midst of the seven lampstands, one like the son of man, clothed with a garment down to the feet, and girded by his chest with a golden band. His head and hair were like were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes like a flame of fire. His feet were like fine brass, as if refined in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. He had in his right hand seven stars out of his mouth, with a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was like the sun shining in its strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. But he laid his right hand in his saying to me, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am he who lives and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of Hades and of death. Without recognizing the body, 
uh, eats and drinks judgment unto himself. So we don't want to do that. So um, what I'm asking you to do, if Karen can play uh, just one hymn of some, uh, one verse of something, I want you to uh, contemplate your walk with Christ, um, or if you need Christ, and I want you to uh, think about where you are and and uh, get things straight before we partake of the Lord's Supper.
Please share the top cellophane on there and check out the thread. This is my body which is given for you, this too in remembrance of me.